I'm back again and it's day two in Amsterdam. I'm still here and um, today I want to talk about what exactly is going on in cabin crew life. What, ex what do we exactly do? So this is the first flight I'm doing in five months. Um, the last time I did a flight was to Munich and I was supposed to have another flight at the end of the month which was in the month of March. I was supposed to have a flight towards 27th or 28th of March, which never happened because of the lockdown and the aircrafts got grounded and the world came to a halt. So, well, that was that. And today is a flight to Amsterdam, which I'm very grateful for. I'm still keeping my job. I'm still working here in the company and this is a 48 hours layover it's great because um it's money <laughs> uh we have a lot of um changes in our structure in the way we fly in the way we get our salaries and many detailed changes but all in all uh, good to be in the groove you know like I did my first flight today and I feel a bit confident because I was totally out of touch. Luckily I did my exam, the recurrent which cabin crew has to do every six months or yearly. It depends on the company you are working with. They have the structure of to make their cabin crew do it every six months or every year to refresh their memory about the safety procedures, the first aid, um, the security procedures and uh, the general knowledge about about being a cabin crew we always have these tests every six months so i got the 100 percent on that uh i always do i i wanted to be a bit modest but what the heck i do i really do i always get 100 percent in my uh safety test and my six monthly uh tests and exams anyhow so i was very glad that i got that out of my way and today i was doing some reports I usually do it on this iPad, it's my company's iPad and um, this is for cabin supervisors and cabin managers. We have to uh, make reports about what went good in the flight, what was, what didn't go so well and you know is there any feedback, any changes we need to make, we can make suggestions. It's about my crew performance, you know, the team I handle, how are they performing on board and um, you know just to keep the company updated so i finished my reports and um i was gonna talk about it's 48 hours okay and what did i do so first day i slept obviously i was very tired second day i was catching up with the family and today i um you know like wash my hair and then just did my whole thing my routine in the bathroom but I really wanted to give you some information of um, it can be easy and it can be very difficult as well. If you're the kind of person who don't mind um, having your me time, like where you do your own things and uh, you have friends to talk to, you have family to talk to. Um, if you are able to read some books, be by yourself and, um, you know, it's okay for you to probably past your 48 hours we have some layovers we have 72 hours some 120 hours so we are talking about three days four days and five days stay and as per um the country's restrictions and regulations and the company's policies we have to stay in our room you know we have to uh, follow the guidelines because it's really important to follow it during such times uh, to keep the, the curve flattened, you know, the, the infection rates are going up so high in so many countries. So it's it's in the interest of our guests, uh, the passengers we fly and the people we flying with. And if you're the kind of person who just cannot, uh, I would suggest that during such times, be it if you're sitting home getting quarantined or if you're in a hospital, unfortunately, for if you're sick um, or you're down with this COVID, um, probably you can just like download movies and download Netflix app on your phone, on, on your gadgets and try to download your favorite movies and try to keep it, try to keep busy with that. I would say 
um, family can be a great support system and your friends as well so it's very very important to keep in touch with them and try to keep distracted um, reading a book is great again it, it really really like I remember when I used to read books I would be reading it day and night like I'm the kind of person I get obsessed if I'm reading a book I love if I love a story I would not keep the book down I would probably be not able to sleep even um, so that's just me it, I do it even with the series you know if I start a Netflix series and if I really really like it oh I can I think I finished Breaking Bad in like less than a couple weeks maybe 10 days same as with GOT I finished it in couple weeks eight seasons every season had like I don't know seven eight episodes so yeah I'm, I'm the kind of person who gets so involved and so but it's kind of good and bad so um, understand yourself so yeah like um, this is what flying is as of now you know um, you do go to a destination you may have time but you necessarily can't do nothing on it I'd like to show you something else uh, which is I spoke in the last video uh, about this airline which is hiring during such times which is great news so I'm sorry it's just too bright um, Wizz Air which is based in Abu Dhabi and um, Air Arabia Abu Dhabi are hiring so you can go and check the uh, the website which you can go into the careers uh, section and you can apply uh, they do take an online application and um, my tip is like if they reject your online application for some reason try to make another email ID and try to apply through the new email ID the second time um, now the airlines during such times are doing online interviews and obviously to reduce the interaction between people and um, obviously to reduce to keep the curve flattened uh, so I'm just gonna show you what I have here um, it's this online interview pattern which is good to know now because I'm sure there are gonna be a lot of airlines who will resort to such interviews in the near future so this is the this is what I was looking for I'm gonna play it
that was the the link for the interview and these are the tips and tricks for applicants so they always say that find yourself a quiet and comfortable place it's really really important to do that so you have to tell your family members or whoever whoever you're living with that you are doing this interview and you need, and you need your quiet so double check your devices it's really important that you have a good laptop if you don't then borrow it from a friend make sure your device is working properly it's properly charged and uh, the software is updated do not leave it to the last second so make sure before your deadline you try to practice the interview and then do it so you're more confident do a test recording you can do a test recording on any of the links you know there are many links you can do a test recording you can check your camera it's important to see how the lights are gonna be how your sound is or how you look like in the video so do a test recording be prepared with what kind of questions they generally ask which i'm gonna do a small vlog on that as well but this is just to give you a gist of what it is actually like to do interviews during uh, corona times and make sure that you have the right mindset that works for you and um, find a familiar place in the house whatever makes you comfortable make some post-its put some reminders um, whichever helps you to finish the interview and always be comfortable you know imagine you're talking to a friend don't ha don't get intimidated that it is an interview I know it can be a bit awkward because you don't have another person sitting in front of you and you can gauge their reaction on what you're saying but I guess on the other side on the flip side of this is so good that you can be in the comfort of your own home and try to give an interview so yeah make it make it work towards the advantage and very 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 important thing is dress to impress don't think you're sitting home and it's an online interview so you don't have to look good or you don't have to dress good you have to dress absolutely professionally and perfectly your hair if it's a girl your makeup guy grooming shaving um you know your clothes everything has to be perfect i would say even use a perfume and do whatever it takes to make you feel like you're in an actual interview uh look into the camera it's very very important to have eye contact with the camera in this case because i know when you expect it and when you're doing a live interview with people you need to look into their eyes when you're talking to them the same is with the camera that's why it's important to you uh, that you do your uh, test recording as well so you know how you look like in the camera and what the interviews uh, interviewers going to see um, they are going to see like different parameters uh, of uh, how you speak how confident you are uh, of not so much your content but it's also important that the, the language skills you have how you're able to communicate the clarity um, and how you say it the confidence matters a lot you know your presence so yeah that's that's my tips for online interview and I will elaborate more in my future video about the same so that's that guys um, I have to now really go and um, you know like clean up myself um, get a quick shower I need to hit the bed it's getting very late here and I have to wake up not in the morning but 10-ish um, tomorrow so I can prepare for my flight and uh, come back to Abu Dhabi when I get back home I'm definitely gonna um, make a proper uh, vlog on what kind of questions are expected what you should do what you should wear i'm gonna give you some examples i'll try to find as much um material uh which can aid you to for your online interview this can be used both online and even on your regular interview but just to give you an idea of how it feels like or what is expected out of you i'll make another vlog and if you like this video please like always like share subscribe please leave me a comment please give me a feedback it means a lot because you know i think my whole purpose of doing this and trying to communicate with you all i do feel like i want to reach out and i want to help people in whatever small way i can 
and um, yes that's how I become a cabin crew nobody told me and I wish I had somebody telling me guiding me and helping me and, and um, even if it's one person who I can help and reach out and they find any, any use in whatever I am bringing it to you I would be I would be really really happy so until next time uh, you take care of yourself and your loved ones stay healthy not just with your body but mind as well and until next time ciao